Hello, I'm Rachel and this is the last of my writing for puppetry top tips. Tip number five. Rhythm. It's easy for writing to fall into a regular tempo, but this isn't dynamic, it's flat. So when you have the structure of your drama, look back over it and check its rhythm. Have you built in variation of pace? Pace isn't how fast a play is performed, it's in the writing. Think of the writing like a piece of music. You could write a scene that takes its time to show lots of detail and something in the drama happens that makes it pause and the tempo changes. Or you could write short scenes with quick bits of action stitched together with lots of energy squash time or stretch time whatever suits the action I don't know anyone else that does this but I sometimes draw the shape like a graph to track the changes in the rhythm across the scenes that I'm writing I don't always stick to it but it helps me have an overview did you know a performance can affect the heart rate of the audience if they're engaged in the drama their breathing changes in response to what they're watching breath is important in puppetry. Puppeteers use rhythm through breath to give the illusion that the puppet is alive. So in the same way, think of the rhythm of the breath in your writing to make your writing come alive. Now, as this is the last of my top tips, I wanted to add two quick general points. The first is, writing doesn't have to mean planning things in your head and putting words on a page. It can mean working with performers in a rehearsal room, devising the drama together. Either way, whatever your creative process, thinking about how you construct the drama will help you. And the second point is, a script can look however you want, as long as it communicates your ideas for the drama. It could be words on a page, but often puppetry includes lots of movement and that can be hard to write in words. A script could be images or diagrams. Make a script however you want, but do make a script. I hope that you have found my five top tips for writing for puppetry useful. So my thanks to Tom Crane, to Sam and Sophie and the Little Angel Theatre, and thanks for watching.